We are here in Atlanta, Georgia at the Emory Conference Center welcoming in cohort two, our newest cohort of 100 of the nation's top college-bound STEM scholars. This weekend, I'm looking forward to meeting all the scholars and networking and just having a good time. This is my first time at UNCF. It's pretty lit so far and I'm really excited to be here. Aggie Proc. H-U. You know. <laughs> We're also very excited to bring back our cohort one scholar mentors. I know like we were in their position just a year ago from today and it was like I was so scared. I didn't know what was going to happen. Some of these kids, they're coming, they've never been like from home. So it's like, where's this network and where's it going to come from? Letting them know that like we are here for them. And so I definitely wanted to just spread the knowledge and like help them like, because UCF has helped us, helped us up a lot of success. And I really want to help pull others up as well. So I want to be a part of that process kind of nice to have them here to connect with them and see what they're doing because they're going through the same thing at the same time just one year ahead of us. Starting my senior year I was super nervous. I thought about it all the time. I was like oh my gosh my life is about to change and of course all the adults are like you have to work hard and you have to study and you know you're gonna fail so be prepared but when it's coming from someone who's in your age group um, that you know can relate to you I feel like it gives you more motivation to do well because there you have that support team behind you that wants you to do well and you don't want to let them down. Three things that are very important in college and in your future career is utilize your resources, make connections, and network. That was something that I learned when I came here. The whole idea that there was a support system coupled with like a social aspect to it. So not only in the black community we struggle with being vulnerable with one another, within this community being able to be vulnerable and push each other to be better, it's just like a blessing just to be around so much creativity and ingenuity. Uh, my favorite workshop so far was the Life Walk where we took into consideration our backgrounds and got to know what other people have been through. My favorite workshop was Linda Wilson's workshop. It was specifically important because as a STEM major or as someone who's focused in STEM, the work that we take on and the classes that we take can be very challenging on you mentally and you don't always have a support system or a lot of people who are in that area who can relate. So it's good to be able to be balanced in all different areas of yourself to help you push through. I really enjoyed that session. UNCF Grant and some other scholarships fully covered my tuition this year, so being able to take that burden off of my mom knowing that she won't have to struggle at home and she can be able to take care of my brother without worrying about me and funds and how I'll be able to make it through school made everything better for me and for her. I'm a fourth generation to attend an HBCU. HBCUs are very deeply rooted in my family, so you know, not only am I here with the family at UNCF, but you know, I'll be at a school where I'll have another family who have the same aspirations as I do and I am excited, I'm very excited. I am second generation to go to college. This weekend has definitely helped me feel more confident about college. I never met a more passionate group of people in my life. These are the future leaders of technology. All of us are the top students around the country. I think it's just really great to network and get to know these guys because these guys will be at the top in the future. I think it's very important that we have a program that uh, financially and emotionally and socially supports these students, uh, future generational leaders, and I think they're going to change the world. Before we introduce ourselves, I would like to just make a comment about how fly we feel. Well, like it's just the whole gray tie scheme too. <laughs> what, what do we call ourselves? Yes. I mean, um, that's what they say about us some scholars, you know, we're always killing the game.